Would you rather choose to spend your free time with friends or spend your free time alone? Would you rather choose to spend your free time with friends or spend your free time alone? Would you rather choose to spend your free time with friends or spend your free time alone? One of the important things in my life is friendship. Therefore, I prefer spending most of my time with my friends. First of all, I can share all my joy and grief with my friends. Life is not easy, and sometimes, everything happens out of my predictions. Therefore, today, I be successful, but tomorrow, I may lose my all. In these situations, friends are good people who can listen to my worries and my sadness. They not only share my failure, but they also encourage me, and they show me that life has a lot of other beautiful things. Hearing their advice helps me in feeling more confident relieving my stress. On the other hand, when I have joy and tell them to my friends, I will receive many congratulations. Furthermore, spending time with my friends is more interesting. Talking to them. I feel my mind to be refreshed. They often make me laugh. Thus, when our converse are ended, there are some cheerful memories left in my head. Additionally, if we have free time, we often play some kind of sport together, such as soccer or playing chess. These games can strengthen our muscles and help us to feel relaxed. Then, on the next day, when I get back to my work, I can do my expeditiously. Finally, spending time with my friends, I can learn many things from them. No one dares to confirm that they are perfect. Hence, every person has his, her own weakness. Someone can be very good at a particular field, but they may have no knowledge of others. Therefore, people have to learn, they not only study from books, but they also study from people around them. Thus, by spending time with my friends, I can learn from many experiences. In short, I spend most of my time with friends, because they not only make me feel happier and more cheerful, but I can hear many useful things. Describe a place you have never been to, but like to go someday. Describe a place you have never been to, but like to go someday. Describe a place you have never been to, but like to go someday.
I would prefer to go to a seashore town someday. When I was a child, the sea I watched on TV gave me a nice memory, since then I have a desire to go to the seashore someday. I consider the life near the seashore is comfortable, for the sky there is blue and always full of sunshine. Seabirds are singing and ocean breeze is blowing. I'm willing to swim in the sea or just lie on the beach for a rest, which I could never enjoy in Metropolis. Moreover, I could taste seafood such as lobsters and crabs. Therefore, if I can go to a seashore town someday. It must be a wonderful memory in my life. Discuss if your friends from other country are going to visit your country, where do you suggest them to go? Discuss if your friends from other country are going to visit your country, where do you suggest them to go? Discuss if your friends from other country are going to visit your country, where do you suggest them to go? I would like them to go to a seashore town in my country. I believe they can't find a seashore as wonderful as the seashore I want them to go. Life near the seashore is comfortable, for the sky there is blue and always full of sunshine, seabirds are singing and the ocean breeze is blowing. They can swim in the sea and lie on the beach for a rest, which they could never enjoy in their country. Moreover, they could taste seafood that only produces in that seashore such as local lobsters, crabs, and fish. So if they can go to a seashore town someday, it must be a good memory in their life. Explain features of cafe or restaurant you like. Explain features of cafe or restaurant you like. Explain features of cafe or restaurant you like.
well, I prefer a cafe or a restaurant that is quiet and clean. First of all, a quiet place is good for me to enjoy a comfortable meal and I won't be bothered by a noisy surrounding. And I am able to have a conversation or a talk with friends if it is quiet nearby. That we won't have to shout to each other. Second, a clean place to eat could make me have a good appetite and I could eat more when the tables and plates are clean. I consider a clean restaurant can be also excellent in making food. So in conclusion, I like a restaurant or a cafe has the features of clean and quiet. Would you rather keep or not the old building in the city? Would you rather keep or not the old building in the city? Would you rather keep or not the old building in the city? I hold the opinion that we should keep most of the old buildings in the city. I admit that some of the old buildings are a bit dilapidated right now. But the issue is bigger than that. If we destroy the old buildings, we will be destroying an important piece of the history. The buildings many experienced many events and celebrities might live in it. They are the memory of the things in the past. And it wouldn't be all that difficult to fix them up either. However, there are some old buildings, which have less value, could be torn down, for the city development. Describe a time when you got stuck in a traffic jam. How you felt about this. Describe a time when you got stuck, in a traffic jam. How you felt about this. Describe a time when you got stuck, in a traffic jam. How you felt about this.
Living in a busy city and expecting it to be traffic-free is very much like jumping in a river during a very cold winter and expecting its water not to feel cold. But, given the choice, I would probably be more willing to jump in a cold river in the cold winter. But I just wouldn't want to get stuck in a traffic jam, especially when I am in a hurry to do something important. But luck is not always in our favor. Now, talking about the cold winter, it was during this cold weather, about a couple of months ago, that I got stuck in a traffic jam when I was going to pick up my cousin from a domestic airport. Of course, the weather was normal, then, for that the year except, of course, there was some fog in the air. But, after driving about 20 minutes or so, at a speed of 60 plus kilometers per hour, I was suddenly forced to reduce my speed to almost 10 kilometers, apparently, because the traffic ahead of me had slowed down significantly. Little later, my car couldn't move any further, because a long line of cars in front of me had almost stopped moving and the reason was that there was almost no or very little visibility on the road because of very dense fog. Now, I am still not too sure as to what really caused such a bad fog condition. But I had to wait almost 30 minutes in the traffic jam before starting to move faster. Anyway, when I got stuck in that traffic, I felt both frustrated and panicky because I just didn't know how long exactly I would need to wait in that traffic jam before arriving at the airport. Besides, I felt a bit angry with myself because I didn't care to keep a bit more time in my hand to arrive at the airport in time in case I was to get caught in this kind of bad traffic situation. But finally, I could receive my cousin from the airport without much trouble and delay.